Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here, we're practicing writing expression uh, from written uh, or word expressions, or expressions written in uh, word form, and then we're going to uh, talk about real-world situations and creating expressions from those as well. But our strategy is as follows. What I want to do is identify the main words that are going to let me know what operations need to be performed. Like, for example, this guy here, letter E, I have 10 less than the product of 15 and C. Well, there are two words that I go, well, three words here. I like less than is a main word here, a main group of words here that are going to tell me that I need to subtract. This is a subtract situation. Okay? And this word here, product, which means I need to multiply. Okay? So I know I need to multiply and I need to subtract. 10 less than. Well, 10 less than lets me know that whatever I have, I'm going to need to remove 10. It's 10 less than some value. So something like 25 or 10 less than 25, I know it's 25 minus 10. That's how I know that I need to subtract 10. Okay, now I need to take that 10 less than the product of 15 and C. Now that product means I'm going to multiply that 15 and my C. So here it is, my 15 and my C as a multiplication problem and there's my minus 10, okay? So there's my expression. Notice that my 15 and my C are right next to one another, and when a number um, is immediately followed by a variable, it means to multiply, it's automatic. You don't need to put a symbol there, okay? Next guy, we have times, so that's multiply. And I'm going to do this each time. I'm going to underline those words that are most important, and then I'm going to write down what they mean. This way I don't mess up, okay? So five times D, and then increased by 8. Increase means to add. So I'm going to do what it says here. 5 times D. I like circling things as well, the things that need to go together. 5 times D. There's my 5 times D. And then I'm going to increase that or add that by 8. And so I'll show adding 8 by a plus sign and then 8. So there's that expression. Okay? And then we're going to deal with, or we dealt with today, some real-world situations here, like Marcus. He has four more dollars, four more dollars than Yassine. If Y is the amount of money Yassine has, write an expression to show how much money Marcus has. Well, if Marcus has four more dollars, I'm going to underline the more dollars than, because that is an add. Okay, one having some, something more than another, typically that's an add. In this case, he has four more dollars than Yassine. Now, we have a variable being introduced here. Y is the amount of money Yassine has. So I'm going to take the Y and just put it above Yassine, showing that that Y is represented by him. Okay. Now, if Marcus has four more dollars than Yassine, so whatever Yassine has, okay, we're going to add four to that, and that represents what Marcus has. So there's my expression. So whatever Yassine has, whatever Y can be substituted for, whatever value that is, okay, add four, and that's what Marcus has. Okay. Cool. One more. Let's see. Mario. Let's talk about Mario. He's missing half of the assignments. Now, half is telling us just about everything we need to know. Half can happen in two different ways. Half means that I can either divide by two, or I can multiply by half, or take half of it, half of something. So multiply by half. So if A represents the number of assignments, because this guy is missing half of his assignments, so no matter what number of assignments he was supposed to have, he only has half of them. I guess he's not doing very well in class. I'm not sure. So I can run any one of these situations for that. So if, here, if A represents the number of assignments, and he only has half of them, so I can take my A and I can divide by 2, like this, and I can write that as a fraction as well, A over 2. Or... We're going to take half of, okay, half of, which means I'm going to multiply one half times whatever A is, like that, which can be written as 25, you know, one half A, like that, okay? Or you can put the A in parentheses, lots of things you could do there. So whatever you have for A, multiply it by half or take half of that. And that's the deal. All right, folks? Good strategy. Underline, write down what that underlined, uh, those underlined words represent, and then write out your expression. Hopefully it makes sense, okay? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.